Today we're going to look at triad inversions and how to use them in a more melodic way. So let's get right into it. We're going to do this in the key of G major. Our diatonic chords in G, we have a G major here. We have an A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor. We have an F sharp diminished after that. I'll stop here because we're getting kind of high on the neck. It's not impractical. So, okay, let's go into the triad shapes. So we're gonna do these larger shapes and we're just gonna play them on the first three strings. That's one of the easiest ways to find your inversions on the guitar without really having to search too hard for them. So let's start here. G major, first three strings, right? That's four, three, three. Okay, great. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the G major scale and we're gonna just fill in the gaps between the chords. So we have a G. Three, five, seven on the high E. Landing on the A minor, just a bar on the fifth fret. All right, we're gonna keep going up. Five, seven, eight here. Bar on the seventh fret, that's our B minor, okay? Now seven, eight, 10 on the high E. C major, right? 8, 10, 12 on the high E. We're at the D major now, the five chord. We're gonna keep going up to the E minor. That's gonna be 10, 12, 13. Sorry, 10, 12, 14. Now we're at our E minor, bar of the 12th fret. Okay, we're almost done now. 12, 14, 15. This is our little sort of diminished shape here. That's the 14, 13, and 14th fret on the first three strings. Okay, and we're almost done going to the G. We have 14, 15, 17. And that's it. We're back to the octave where we started, so I'll do that again very slowly. Ready? So that's a really great way to work through your inversions in a really creative way. You can change the rhythm on that. And you can do a lot of different things, so definitely play around with it. That's the whole point, is to kind of create sort of a more creative exercise where you have a little more freedom to experiment, but still learn these shapes. and be able to move them around freely. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.